Uh, I should hit the gym, like, now. On this episode of the FAQs, your favorite YouTubers are answering your questions about swimsuit anxiety. Swimsuit pressure definitely exists. Always will. That's just a fact of life. Everyone sort of has insecurities already, even when we're fully clothed. Mm, I'd rather have my clothes on. Men totally feel pressure when they're on the beach. Society wants you to be stick thin like all the models. There's professional airbrushing and lots of makeup. But in reality, not everyone is going to be like that. I have definitely have had people say things about my body and how I should look and how I should want to look. If you have the audacity to say something about someone else's body, you're kind of a mean person. It's my body, bro. I don't think it's important about caring what other people think of you at all. It's hard not to let it get to you. And I always look in the mirror and I tell myself I'm beautiful and I know that I'm happy. Shake it off. My number one swimmer buying tip is not to buy it online. Try it on. Everybody has different body shapes. Pick swimsuits based on your body type. If you are concerned about your hips being a little bit bigger, I would avoid horizontal stripes on the bottom. I highly recommend sea foley tops, especially for girls who have boobs going on. I am really into high-waisted pants because I'm kind of short. That really helps lengthen my legs. And I usually like to wear a swimsuit that ties up around my neck and around my back so I don't have to worry about the fact that I might have a nip slip. There's definitely plenty of ways to feel comfortable. And if you feel comfortable in the swimsuit, then it's definitely the right swimsuit for you. I just wear my basketball shorts. Now it's time for Fax Us Anything. My friend made a comment the other day that I shouldn't wear a bikini because my boobs are tiny. I want to wear a bikini this summer. What types of bikinis should I look for to show off the parts I want to showcase and camouflage my least favorite parts. You know what? That's really not a friend. First of all, having no boobs is actually pretty awesome. It's no one's business to tell you what you look good in and what you don't. If you want to wear a bikini, then you should wear a bikini. Victoria's Secret has really nice bathing suits that make your boobs look more boobalicious. Buying a bikini top with something that draws your attention and your eyes to that area. Maybe pick something that has cutouts in the area that accentuates the part of the body that you like. If you feel comfortable in it, go for it. We could become more body inclusive by not judging people. We have to be more conscientious that there are different types of people in the world. There's different types of body shapes. And I think the more that people accept who they are and what they look like, they're not going to be inclined to always be criticizing everyone else around them. I don't think it matters what size you are. Everyone worries about your size, whether you're skinny or fat or somewhere in between. You just got to learn to love yourself. You know, one day I'll just be like, hey guys, look at me. For more FAQs, subscribe here. Look, what? look, this is very easy. Yeah. You know you want to. All you, you gotta do is click. To. Just click, like, subscribe. Like.